All right, I want to remove this, this panel. It's just these little push tabs. And there are a lot of them. two in each wheel well. That's gonna help. I hope it's gonna help, but there's a starter. Now I see one. I gotta get that shield off first. There's one, there's a push tab in there to move those. All right, here we go. Plastic shield is a uh, 10 millimeter.
try to get hit yourself in the face like I did with it. Now we're gonna wanna just pop up on this back, uh, back seat. All right, this is gonna be a, a trip. All the customer stuff. Look at that a dog leash. Got napkins. Let's clean this out for him, you know? Be a nice guy. Oh, winter gear. We got socks, teddy bear. All right. So essentially just trying to get all the way back here to get to the battery. Passenger side. Hopefully this is a 10 millimeter. No, it's not. Now that I'm back with the little itty bitty eight millimeter. That's crazy. Okay. Take that off so we can possibly not get zapped later on when we're underneath here. Let's see if it's a 15. Pretty darn big. 15 millimeter. And then there's one all the way up here. Take that one down. Let me tell you, if it hasn't been sitting, this thing is hot. And that and that's what they're I guess that's what they're having the problems with anyways. It's getting heat soaked. Anytime that it gets hot, it stops working. Although I have not had that problem since I've had it. Got it at temperature, got it real hot. It's really hot in my garage anyways. So that wasn't very hard. Right. It's a very tight spot with those transmission cooler lines right there. That's a long one, so good. you know where that one goes now. Pull it out, and I'm gonna try to angle it up and then down because I wanna. Okay, I see where it's getting caught at now. There we go. There we have it. I want to make sure we get ow. Got our new one, or should I say the remanufactured one? I want to make sure that all the terminals are the same, which they are. Good deal. Look at the teeth on the flywheel, make sure that's okay, which for the ones we can see, looks good. But you can always grab a half inch tool and just start to crank it. But we're not here to do that. All right. Looking at. Look at 
think is this a 13 millimeter? Yes, it is. Let me get a ratchet wrench. Speed this process up. Now that you have that off, now that I have it off, I can see now that you really don't have to take off the uh, that plastic shield up front. I just read that and it's a big waste of time. There's that. And then uh, that's an eight millimeter. I've gone this entire time working on cars and never using this eight millimeter once. I find a car that both grounds are both eight, so Works for me, kind of cool. But if you had a socket, this would be it'd be a lot easier and quicker. But that requires getting back up again, and I don't want to do that. Put it in reverse. Positive actually has like a little groove on where it should go, so that's easy enough. There we go. Like I said, there's a little groove that it lines up with. All right. Now, we're gonna put it back up there. There we go. Rotate it back up into place like so. 
<clears throat> hang out there for a second. My break is over. I let the car. There we go, much better. It's to the point where every time I got my hands up in here, I started to cook my hand. So I had to let it cool down. There we go. Man, I'll tell you what, having these cooler lines in my way, that they're kind of, they're definitely a pain. The car's so old, I definitely don't want to move them too much. There's the first bolt and the second bolt's gonna go way up in there in that bottom corner. Depending on where you're at and how you see it. that one snug them up Now I just gotta remember how this this thing goes up in there, and I don't remember. So we'll start here, and that's it. Place your 10 millimeter bolt. Really easy job, just, man, really, really tight spaces. So like I said, do not remove that front cover. You'll be fine. Thought that would free up, because it says, it says in there to do it, but as I just found out, it's a waste of time. Take your long push rod, get this line back up again.
All right, as far as underneath the car, you're all done. Here's the old starter. I don't have, I personally don't have a way to test it. There's a lot of great videos on how to test a starter. And then you hook your battery back up and you're done.